Yo, what's up guys? Drop a like on the video in the next five seconds or I will personally steal all your cookies. All of them. Seriously though, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you like what you see and of course, use code PINEAPPLESYT in the item shop and I'll love you forever. What's going on everybody? I'm Dr. P. Welcome back to another video. Now in this one guys, we're gonna talk about all new items in the game including a very, very rare exclusive emote as well as an all new free pack. Coming up a little later in the video, we will also take a look at gameplay of what cars could look like when they come out on July 21st. So you're definitely gonna wanna make sure you're watching all the way until the end to see that. So let's start off by talking about one of the most rare emotes in the game at the moment. It's brand new and it's called the Bangra Boogie or the Bangra Boogie. I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, this tweet is from Lucas7Yoshi who says a new exclusive emote is coming to Fortnite. It's actually already in the game if you have a code. Bangra Boogie will be available through some sort of promotion from OnePlus. He says he thinks this emote is simply available early slash for free for OnePlus owners, but it will not be exclusive overall and could end up coming to the item shop at some point in the future. If you're curious about what the emote actually looks like, I got you. As you can see on the screen, it is pretty cool. I wouldn't say it's anything out of this world, but it is a super rare emote right now. Only people with OnePlus devices can actually get this emote. But like I said, that's not confirmed. For all we know, the emote could end up coming to the item shop at some point in the future. But again, that's not confirmed and we don't know. But definitely let me know your thoughts on this emote in the comment section down below by rating it on a scale from 1 to 10. Next up, we've got a new PlayStation Plus pack for all you PlayStation players out there. This comes right after the old one was removed and it was replaced with a new one. You can see courtesy of Fire Monkey, we know that this pack includes the introducing emote, the stratosphere glider, and the down arrow contrail. Contrary to what the tweet actually says, the pack is available right now for PS Plus owners. And if you've got PS Plus, you should should have this waiting for you in your locker. I gotta say, man, that Stratosphere Glider looks really, really cool. I have a PlayStation, but as you guys know, if you watch my streams, I recently switched to play Fortnite on PC with controller because it runs so much better and I have a lot more options, but I may have to go and buy PS Plus back and go on my PlayStation just to get this pack. I gift my subscribers every single day. If you want a chance to win something, the best chance is by going to my caffeine.tv live stream and following me over there. I stream Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday, and every single person who wins one of my games over there gets a gift sent to them of their choosing. However, I will also send some random gifts to people who comment down below, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like, and finally, comment down below your epic gamer tag so I can add you and you could potentially get a gift sent to you straight from me. How awesome would that be? Currently in the item shop, we have a new bundle called the Double Agent Pack, which is actually pretty sick, and it comes with three skins and three back blings, all of which are interchangeable between a shadow and ghost option. My favorite one is probably the Chaos Double Agent, especially being able to see Chaos Agent on the ghost side is kind of cool, considering he is widely assumed to be one of the main people who founded Shadow. This pack is a little pricey. It's 2,500 V-Bucks, but it does come with three skins and three back blings, all of which, again, are interchangeable in style. Now, there is also a pickaxe bundle called the Shadow Pickaxe Pack, which is actually a super good deal, in my opinion. It's 1,200 V-Bucks, and you actually get three different pickaxes. That comes out to just 400 V-Bucks for a pickaxe, which is unbelievably cheap. And if you need to actually get a smaller amount of V-Bucks, like maybe you have eight or 900 V-Bucks, you're just a couple hundred V-Bucks off of actually being able to buy this pack or anything else in the shop for that matter, you should check out my video I uploaded yesterday on the channel, which details exactly how you can do just that via the early access feature for the Reload V-Bucks. 
Make sure you get your last games in of Fortnite right now before tomorrow because this is the last time that we are going to have the water level be exactly the way it is right now because tomorrow at 3 a.m. Eastern Time, which is in roughly 14 hours from now, the water level will go down to its third stage since the season released. That, of course, means there will be more playable area on land and probably new secrets to uncover, which is definitely really cool and I'll keep you guys updated tomorrow with a video detailing everything that changed. After tomorrow, the next time the water level is set to lower is on July 21st, which coincidentally is the same day that cars will be made available in Fortnite. Yes, finally, on July 21st, we will get the long-awaited cars feature that we've been looking forward to since the very first day Season 3 was revealed, and I could not be more excited for it. And lucky day for you guys, I've got some gameplay to show you of what cars could look like once they actually come into the game, so definitely gear up for that. We pretty much know just about everything as it relates to the cars. We know what kind of cars are going to come into the game. We know there's going to be a race royale game mode where you can race against your friends or any random people for that matter called Chrome. It's also rumored that this crash dummy skin will be coming into the game possibly as a free reward for completing challenges possibly in the Chrome LTM. Who knows, but this is definitely a very cool skin and makes sense for this to be released along with the release of the cars considering it legitimately is a crash test dummy. So there is this creative map by user HawsWW, so shout out to him that is called Car Simulator, and it gives a great idea of what cars will look like once they actually come into the game. So without any further ado, let's dive straight into that gameplay. So you can see this map actually features a long road going downhill in which you can actually transform into a car using the prop gun. And then you can basically go straight down. You can collect money to upgrade your fuel, buy upgrades, change what kind of car you're using, and so much more. I gotta give it up to the creator of this map, man. This is pretty well done. Obviously, it is not perfect and it is not exactly what cars will look like because you can see the car is kind of twitching out and there are some graphical bugs kind of because you're not actually like driving the car you more or less are the car in this game mode it's got a really cool garage that you can buy more fuel for it's actually really well done and at this point we only have 11 days until the real thing gets added into the game so if you guys want to check this map out you can see the map island code on the top of the screen I would suggest you you go and check it out because, you know, like I said, it's not exactly the same thing as cars are actually going to be, but it's pretty similar and it definitely gives off some racing vibes, if nothing else, and definitely kind of helps to ease your way into the hype of the cars before they actually come out into the game. Based on leaks, we know that the types of cars are going to be the basic car, the basic truck, the big rig, the police car, the taxi cab, and the sports car. Ironically enough, the car that you are when you play this game mode right here is the taxi cab, so pretty much this exact car is going to be able to be driven around in the real Fortnite Battle Royale map, so that's just another thing to add onto this, making this a little more realistic. Remember how I mentioned earlier the water level will be dropping tonight at 3 a.m. Eastern? Well, me too, and I just saw this on Twitter six minutes ago from Fire Monkey, so this is just in. It says, the biggest change we will see with this new water level is Risky Reels fully returning and being completely above water at this point. Risky Reels is a great spot. I love Risky Reels. It's one of my favorite landing spots overall, so I'm definitely glad to see that it is going to be completely accessible again after this update. Only OGs remember when Risky Reels back in Season 4 constantly updated the movies that were playing, giving us hints of what was happening during the storyline. Man, I kind of wish they would get back to that. That was really cool. So there you have it. The water level is going down tomorrow morning. The water level will go down again 10 days later along with the car's release. And you just saw pretty much how the car's will operate in the game. Now, of course, there will be some differences, notably 
a lot better handling and you know obviously being able to play on the real map but it gives you an idea of what it might look like and I highly suggest that you go and check out that map for yourself if you have the time. Make sure to follow me on caffeine.tv, smash a like on this video, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you never miss out on any future content. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and until then guys I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.